Vector paint is a great way to quickly add annotations that emphasize or draw attention to specific areas of your screen. So what you would want to do is in After Effects you've got some video on your timeline. You'd simply scrub to the point where you wanted to start inserting the paint. And let's see, I'm happy right there. We'll open up our effects panel. Come down and choose the vector paint. And you can see I have a variety of different brushes and then properties that I can set on those types of brushes. So I can change the color here to something a little bit more obvious, like red. And then I simply begin to draw with my mouse here. And you can see I just drew that line. Now the nice thing is this uh, line remains completely editable. Um, I can get my selection tool here and I can move that line around. I can delete it if I'm not happy with it. We'll come back to the brush tool. You draw something that's a little bit more straight there. Okay, and yeah, let's reposition it a little bit here. And maybe knock some of the opacity off of that, or knock the opacity down a little bit. So, oh, maybe you make it a 50% or something like that. Okay, back here. And I can continue to add and draw lines as I see fit. Um, maybe I wanted to change the playback mode actually first. I'll come in here. We'll say animate the strokes. You notice my line will disappear. If I come down to my scrubber, playhead scrubber, you can see I've got a nice little animation that draws that line in. Uh, I can continue to add lines as I mentioned before. Let's come back to our paint tool. And we'll draw. And we should be able to scrub and see. It's not showing up here. There we go. The selection tool was just a little bit confused. Um, so I can also change, and you know, maybe I don't want to animate these strokes, maybe I just want to hold them all. So hold the strokes. Just flatten them out a bit. I can obviously change my stroke type. Let's come in here. Let's bring that opacity back up. And let's draw this line here. Okay, and let's decide maybe we want a different color here. So select the line, come back, my color palette, change your back to a nice little blue, and then maybe let's go ahead and uh, reposition that a little bit. And we'll go back to animating the strokes. So, now as you can see, if I bring this up, uh, just like anything else in After Effects, you get keyframes that are created down on the timeline. You can change the options here. You have control over wiggle control and that type of thing. Uh, the compositing mode. In fact, if I change the compositing mode, you can see some of the, there's mat uh, as a mat. So, I could be creating alpha channels and that type of stuff with vector paint that could be used. Um, let's just composite over the original. And yeah, so that should get you started uh, with vector paint. Uh, there's obviously a lot you could do, um, but that's just a little primer.